Uh, I'm Steve Lewis. Uh, welcome. Thank you for coming on this 85 degree day, which is very nice of you. Um, I'm just going to have a brief introduction. The Mill Rock Writers Group is probably at least 12 years old at this point. Um, it, it's, it's sort of an amazing fact of life that it, it started as a group of writers who were just looking for some community and just sort of on its own energy just keeps going on and on. Um, uh, you know, the, the, maybe the, the singular quality of a good piece of writing is that, is that it takes off on its own. It gets, it gets out of the writer's hands uh, shortly into it, or it, it doesn't really matter when. It gets out of the writer's hands. And that may be a really good sort of metaphor for what this group is. It's, I theoretically started this group 12 years ago, but I have no control over it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm merely the guy who has a stopwatch given to me by Edward McCann uh, to make sure that we get out of there before midnight. Uh, but these, the thing to, that uh, is very important is that these people are real writers. They wake up before sun, uh, you know, before sunlight, they go to sleep, or they, they're writing deep into the night. They're writing because they're writers, not, not because they want to teach anybody anything, not because the world needs another piece of literature. They're writing because they need to be writing. Um, the other part of, of a good piece of literature is that it needs to, it needs to knock you off center. It needs to nudge you in a way so that the world looks a little bit different after you've read it. And that's, uh, I can guarantee that after hearing these eight, nine writers, <laughs> uh, your world will be different. You will be nudged off center. It, it's, it's an important thing in this world to be knocked on your rear end, and that's what a good piece of writing will do on. And I'm sure that's what will happen today. So, uh, the lovely and gracious Julie Evans will say the words. And welcome to the soundstage at WDST, which was uh, a blessing to us from Gary Chekhov, the owner of WDST. And I just want to tell you a little bit about this soundstage. Uh, this whole complex was created by Albert Grossman in the 70s, and uh, acts like Bob Dylan, Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix, Peter, Paul, and Mary, uh, and Todd Rundgren himself were brought up here and uh, became known to the world. And Todd Rundgren was always ahead of himself and uh, ahead of the world, and he believed that um, the next step in music was going to be uh, videos. And he was right. The first video for MTV was shot here on this soundstage. And uh, the years went on, and uh, there was a little bit of a decline in, in uh, I guess, Albert Grossman's uh, revenue. And he said to Todd, you know, you need to start paying rent. <laughs> and he didn't understand that. So this place was shut down. And it was closed for about 15 to 20 years until Gary Chekhov moved the radio station over here. and. Uh, brought it back to life. And it is our express pleasure to be here tonight. Uh, we wanted to breathe some new life into it. I don't know if you were here when my husband was playing a saxophone, but he'll probably give us another song a little bit later. And I am the newest member of the Mill Rock clan, and I am the loudest screamer. When we go to uh, the Outer Banks, I am the one that screams the loudest, trying to get past the waves and into the ocean. But it is my pleasure now to introduce uh, Mihai, and Mihai Brunfeld is an associate professor at Vassar College where he teaches courses in Spanish language and Latin American culture and literature. His publications include an anthology of Latin American avant-garde poetry, and uh, we have his book here, it's uh, called Leaving, and it's his experiences of growing up in Romania and immigrating at the age of 18. And that very, uh, Nugget is at the heart of a lot of his writing. I don't know what he's going to read tonight, but I can guarantee you it's going to be good. So, Mihai, if you come and join us, thank you. Thank you. 